everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm sharing with you Elena's favourite treats and snacks, some of which are healthier than others and she's, she's absolutely desperate for me to show this first one so that she can open it and eat it, which I knew was happening as soon as I decided to film this video. So come and show me the first one and then mommy will open it for you. Come on. Okay, so the first snack that she absolutely loves, are you going to show them the packet? Like this is the urban fruit dried strawberries and these are basically just exactly what it says so dried strawberries and she's so impatient to open these that i had to show these in the video first so that she can dig in okay <laughs> these do come in other flavors so i think we've had the mango one before definitely um i've got a feeling there might be a pineapple one but she definitely prefers the strawberries and they are essentially just dried strawberries as far as i can see if she would let me look at the packet, then I'd be able to just double check. Mummy, let me just have a look, just a minute. Yay! What does it say? It says, yeah, so it says, we keep strawberries simple, no added sugar, no preservatives, nothing. All we do, calm down, you'll get them back. All we do is gently bake the fruit so it's easier to munch on the move. So it's basically just dried fruit. And when strawberries or any fruit are dried, um, they become so much sweeter. So she thinks they're like sweeties, but they're actually a healthier alternative to sweeties. Um, on the dried fruit front, again, she is still a huge, huge fan of, yes, we'll show that in a minute, of um, sultanas and raisins. I get these packs of Tesco goodness for kids and they come with some that are just sultanas, some that are raisins and apricots, dried apricots. And this one, which is sultanas and dried apples, and she loves these, don't you? These are ideal for a lunch break and so easy to take on the move, and she really, really, really enjoys these. Also in porridge or cereal, granola, these are a winner. So again, again on the dried fruit front, I get these again from Tesco, but you can also get, I think, there's definitely one of the baby brands does a version. Can I take this hat off so mummy can see? <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, these are <laughs> okay. <laughs> these are the crunchy apple slices, and again, if you look at the ingredients, these are literally just apple with lemon juice, and they are dry, baked till they're dried, and then they kind of have a crisp-like texture, but they're kind of sweeter, obviously, than crisps. And she loves these. These are great if she's asking for crisps, and I don't really want to give her crisps, although. I will show you some of her favourite crisps later on. She does enjoy a good crisp, but she absolutely loves these and they're a slightly healthier alternative. Again, staying with the kind of fruit theme, she loves these little fruit bowl packs, don't you? They're yummy too, aren't they? These are strawberry flakes and again, the ingredients in this, there are more ingredients in this than there are in the urban fruit. They are simply just strawberries and nothing else. This does have like apple juice Yay. and apple puree. Strawberry puree, elder, elderberry juice, natural flavouring. So these aren't, I don't think, quite as healthy, but they're really handy size. They're also a lot cheaper. The urban fruit ones are about £1.50 for that size pack. And she eats it and eats the whole pack in one sitting. So um, they're kind of expensive, but sometimes they're an offer. And usually if they're two for £2 or something, I'll always pick a good few up. The other fruit bowl ones that she likes a lot are the yogurt covered raisins and again these are really a healthier alternative to chocolate when she's asking for something sweet and these are ideal size for stacking so love these and they both come in multi-packs um, and they're usually on offer so I always stock up on these, they're handy for on the move. Her next favourite snack which was is always on our monthly grocery order are these serene moist fruit loaves. And it's the banana lunchbox loaves that she likes. They also do a malt loaf version, which she doesn't mind, but these are definitely her favourite. And these are a healthier alternative for when she asks for cake. She loves cake. These are good though, aren't they? They're yummy. Yeah. And they're the ideal portion size, so you can obviously buy the big, huge loaf um, and cut it up, but it doesn't last as long because obviously these are individually wrapped. So they stay nice and fresh, ideal for lunch boxes, and just really, again, great for in your handbag when your child wants a treat on the go. The next thing to share with you is the most healthy option, which is fruit. And Elena does love fruit. Um, her favourite fruits are probably tangerines, bananas, apples, as long as you peel the skin off, and peaches and berries. 
and we always give her fruit with every meal generally, especially breakfast. She no, always gets she fruit. Have to have fruit. Okay. <laughs> she always gets fruit with her breakfast, usually berries or banana. Um, but she loves these for snacking on and these again, especially tangerines because they don't kind of get squashed in your handbag. Are ha fantastic for are fantastic for lunch boxes and on the move. Um, whereas these are better for at home because they do make a bit of a mess if you put them in a bag. So next up are smoothies or any kind of um yeah <laughs> or any kind of like fruit pouches. And um, these are still good. I think even when she's two and a half years old, I still like to have these in because they're handy again for on the move and um, this is a Tesco goodness slipper apple and let mommy open the straw for you this is the innocent smoothie just for kids cherries and strawberries she absolutely loves these things and they are generally full of goodness obviously making your own would be even better but we don't always have time for that so these are a really good option the next couple of things I don't have here to show you right now because we've run out but they are both things that she always has at breakfast time, but she also asks for as a snack. And the first is a Pitti Falou little tiny mini yogurt. So we usually give her two of those at breakfast. You'll have seen that in my What My Toddler Eats For Breakfast video. I'll link that below if you're interested and haven't seen that. Um, she has two of them for breakfast. I usually put her healthy um, healthy start multivitamin in there. Um, just drip, it's just like a dropper and drop that into her yogurt because she's always guaranteed to finish those. She'll sometimes ask for them as a snack as well. And the other thing is little brioche rolls. So they're the butter brioche rolls. We have tried her with the chocolate chip ones. She doesn't really like them. She with much prefers, she much prefers the plain, Elena, don't start eating all the snacks on the floor. <laughs> eat your, no, eat your strawberries, please. Yes, yeah, so she's not such a big fan of the chocolate chip ones. She prefers just the plain butter ones, which are obviously better anyway but they're kind of like a slightly sweeter roll that you don't need to put anything on and she'll just happily eat them as as is with like completely I'm, I'm that. completely plain um so she absolutely loves these and we also when she asks for a we're snack having a party. we're having a party we're having a party because all the treats are on the floor and she thinks it's all for her for now we don't eat them all now um, the next thing is something I usually try and push for if she asks for a snack and she says she's really hungry and that is like these tiny little rolls from Tesco. I have a bunch in the freezer so I'll show you um, some. I always buy a pack of, a couple of packs of 12 every month and then put them in the freezer so that I can just pop them out, stick them in the microwave for like literally about 15 seconds just to soften them and defrost them and then you can put some like some ham and cheese or even just butter and jam and that's just something that's actually going to fill her up rather than sweeties or something that she's going to just eat the whole packet and then ask for something else so that is what I try to do. Now moving on to the not so healthy snacks many of which she's spotted on the floor and she's desperate to eat so I will share those with you now. Yeah this the first thing the first thing is something that I think almost every child likes and it is the kinder eggs and we got a pack of six and you can see she's already gone through half of the pack um, obviously these have chocolate, they have the Kinder chocolate with the kind of milk on the outside and the kind of whiter chocolate on the inside and then they have a toy inside so hugely attractive to children. She also really likes these chocolates so the Kinder little bars, mini bars, I'll show you them in a cut, we actually don't have those in front of me but we do have them in the house too. She also really likes them and they're a little bit less messy for on the move um, but these are great obviously every child likes this. Yeah. We're having a party. <laughs> Everybody likes, I mean, every child likes a surprise egg, so no surprise that this is in here. No more money left. No more money left. Yeah, you're right, Mummy will have no money left. And um, the next thing is ice lollies in general. This is ice poles, any kind of ice lolly. She prefers ones that aren't chocolatey. She's not a huge fan of like chocolate covered ice lollies, but mini Holly. twisters, yes, mini twisters. Fab lollies, rocket lollies and ice poles she's a huge fan of. I'll show you what we've got in our freezer just now. She's already eaten the whole pack of rocket lollies and the whole pack of fab lollies that I literally just got in our monthly order. Careful! She's going to get one um, earlier this month. So she's a huge, huge fan of those. And you will have seen her eating ice lollies in my past videos because it's one of her favourite treats. And she's open, open the freezer and helped herself to win. Right, close the freezer door then. One, one, 
Look, show everybody what you've got. Tommy! Did you just take that out of the freezer by yourself? Rascal. Daddy <laughs> forgot to put the freezer lock on. There's usually a lock on our freezer door, but obviously. Daddy forgot to put it back on this morning. Oh well. So this is like a mini twister. So in the pack you get these ones with the red and you get the green ones that are the kind of traditional ones I think. These are the strawberry, strawberry options. Yoppy. There you go. I like Yoppy. She's got like loads of half-eaten snacks lying about me right now. Um, the next thing is the yogurt yeah, brownies. Yeah, we're having a party. <laughs> right, okay. The next thing is um, the yogurt lollies, which I've shown again in my What My Toddler Eats video. She'll sometimes have those as dessert after a meal. I don't have any in just now, so I will show you in a cutaway what these look like, but she does really enjoy them. But now that she's older, like one oh, is I'll enough. I'll show you what I got. You showing what you've got? How? What have you got? How? How lolly. Um, she, one is not enough, so she wants I'll like two, three, or even I four. Got which my is the you got your strawberry juice, so you have. That's right, your smoothie. Okay. Careful with that. They're my I got all them. Yep, you've got your dried strawberries, and then you've got a twister. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, the thing about those yogurt lollies is they're so small for her age now that. You know, she wants to eat the whole packet, and they're actually quite expensive. The whole they're packet. Almost, yeah, the whole packet. This is her favourite thing to say now. Whenever you give her some sweets, whole packet. Bye. Um, not yet. So we don't get them in as often because, like I said, she just eats the whole pack in one sitting. The next favourite treat of Elena's is a babe. What we call a baby hot chocolate, and that is I put the Cadbury's hot chocolate powder in the bottom of one of her little mini mugs, and I'll show you in a cutaway her having this because she has it quite a lot. And then I fill up her little mug halfway with boiling water, so about up to there. Um, give it a really good stir to dissolve the drinking chocolate and then fill up the rest of the way with semi-skim milk, cold How just from the fridge. Now? And that makes <laughs> that makes it like like just look warm really. And then it adds some little mini marshmallows on top. And that is her baby hot chocolate and she loves that. She'll sometimes ask for it in the morning, but mostly it's usually like pre-bedtime kind of comfort type dessert after dinner, which she absolutely loves. Just have to watch, just have to watch out for her like making an absolute mess and spilling it everywhere, which she does from time to time. But yeah, she absolutely loves that. Right, the final thing in her favorite snacks, and that is just kind of crisp type things. When she was younger, we used to get away with the goodies crisps, which are obviously a lot healthier. But now she says that they have no flavour and actually they really don't have much of a flavour. Um, I see you. Um, so these are kind of like her probably favourite go-tos. She absolutely loves these Jacob's Mini Cheddars and these are always on offer um, when I do my grocery order. So I get the big family pack of 12. So these are a winner and you can also get like other flavours of these which she also likes but I think these are her favourites. So I usually just go with the original. Um, the next thing is just like general crisps and I usually get her the kind of smaller kids type aimed at kids packs. Um, she loves hula hoops, she loves putting them on her fingers so she loves these. She also quite likes skips and quavers, although she's not a huge, it's not as big a fan of quavers as she used to be and all of these snacks are now everywhere. Um, so yeah, but she loves hula hoops, she's quite into quite strong flavours which I find is quite surprising but she's not really into just salted, she wants the kind of salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, prawn cocktail kind of flavours so she does enjoy a, quite a strong flavoured crisp. And the last thing that she absolutely loves is popcorn and these ones are the Sun Bites whole grain popcorn and I eat these as well. And this is the sweet and salty combined which is my favourite. I don't like to give her just the salted because I think they're quite high in salt but I feel like the sweet and salty kind of covers both bases when she asks for a snack and kind of, I know that it certainly satisfies my sweet tooth too. So I think this is a good option and the whole grain variety is obviously slightly healthier. So that brings us to the end of this What My Toddler Snacks On video. Hope you find it useful. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the My Fashion Cupboard Baby family. <laughs> and join us for more videos like this in the future. See you in the next one. Bye. 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 Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.
Don't forget to subscribe. Not really again. Hit the like button. A like button. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.